Hello and welcome back to Tea in the Deep Blue Sea, London 90 Seconds with me, Victoria. Today I'm going to be talking all about plankton. Phytoplankton and zooplankton. Before I get into the difference between phytoplankton and zooplankton, I would like to cover what plankton actually are. Plankton are drifting organisms found in ocean seas and bodies of fresh water. They are a diverse collection of organisms that are unable to propel themselves against a current. Although microscopic in size, they play a large role in marine ecosystems. Phytoplankton are plants and zooplankton are animals. Phyto meaning plant and plankton meaning drifter. These are autotrophic or self-feeding, meaning they use energy from the sun for photosynthesis. On the other hand, zooplankton are heterotrophic. This means they cannot produce their own food, instead this must come from another source, often phytoplankton. There are also two smaller kinds of plankton, bacterioplankton and virioplankton. These are bacteria and viruses. A large plankton population can decrease the clarity of water. More green or brown water likely has more plankton in it. Although plankton is necessary for ecosystems, too much of it can be a problem. When the population suddenly increases, it is known as a bloom. Certain types of plankton can release toxin. Algal blooms can cause high fish mortality. The aquatic food chain highly depends on plankton. The survival of plankton is vital for marine ecosystems. Climate change and rising sea temperatures pose serious risks to plankton populations. So that was my video on plankton. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you have, remember to hit the thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers.